we had an Azure pickup on this day, and I've had questions about what I like to get from them, and so I decided to show um, what we got on this day. This is a small order for us, but I did get coffee. I do get the um, the whole bean coffee and grind it myself, but they do have it already ground, and they do have different brands too and different types of roast. So um, I suggest looking into those. The pastas that I like to get are the grain free and the einkorn and jovial are is the brand that we like and um, the grain free they use cassava flour so I really like to use that. I got some cooking twine, some shredded coconut, I wanted to try and make um, oh goodness I can't remember the name of those Girl Scout cookies, Samoas I think, something like that so I'm going to try to make those. Then I did get two bags of raw pecans, one of those, these are five pound bags, so you can kind of picture the weight size. It's five pound bags, one's for my sister, one's for me to make some, well I'm going to be making some thank you gifts with those at the end of this video and some pecan bars. Um, ta tapioca starch, that's what I like to use instead of cornstarch for a thickening. I did get dried sliced lemons. Um, just for different kinds of things. You can, um, you know, cook them on the stove to get some scents, or you can put them in a drink, or we were going to hang some on the Christmas tree, but this December has not gone as planned, so that ends up not happening. Um, I got some beeswax candles, because we like to use candles a lot in the winter. I did get a large stainless steel bowl. Um, so they do have more than just food. They have all, all kinds of things. Like, it's really neat. <laughs> and you can get kind of sucked in if you go and check them out. And then I did get several pounds of oranges. And um, we had been sick for several weeks, kind of taking turns on being sick. And so these oranges, we started eating them right away, and they did come in handy. They were very, very good. Um, I did get two bags of cranberries. I actually still have not used those the way that I had planned. So um, I still have those in the refrigerator that I need to deal with. This is some um, butter. It's the Mother's Choice, the um, sweet cream butter. This is not the butter I usually get, and I am kind of a butter snob. So um, this butter is okay. It's not my favorite. It's not my top choice. But they were out of the butter that I like to use, and I was afraid if I waited till my next order that I would run out of butter. So I got this because that's all they had available. Um, that Nancy's sour cream is probiotic sour cream, and my kids love it, so I got three of those this time. And then I did get some um, powdered A2, A2 milk, and then um, some maple, I'm trying to read it on the screen here, some maple sugar. So these things are going to be for making homemade hot chocolates that I can go ahead and have mixed up and set up in the pantry. Um, I did get some more powdered sugar. I like to get the powdered sugar from them because it doesn't have the anti-caking agent in it, and um, which is pretty toxic for you, and so I do like their powdered sugar. Um, I got a few more boxes of the tissues. I do prefer to get their tissues. And then um, I did get a little tink tink tincture <laughs> um, for when we're not feeling well, and you know we hadn't been feeling well for several weeks, and so I needed to restock on some of that. I did get some... Um, ground beef liver that was in capsules. I like to add those into the kids' smoothies to, to get some of that nutrients in there kind of hidden. I did need to stock up on some of my spices. So a lot of these here are spices that I'm getting. These were all four ounces. So four ounces of thyme is way more than four ounces of garlic powder and onion powder. This is toothpaste here. I just put in the front there. And then um, the box behind the toothpaste, that is a little top that I can put on a mason jar that I keep the um, maple syrup in. And so it lets the kids pour it out without the whole thing pouring out too fast. So I do like to keep that on my jar with my maple syrup. Okay, so that is some shampoo and conditioner in that big plastic bag. That is some elderberry juice I just set down. And I do want to make some elderberry, homemade elderberry gummies, um, you know, that doesn't have all the added sugars and everything. And so I thought that would be really good for when the kids aren't feeling well that we they can kind of munch on those every now and then. These sweet potato chips were new for us, and I only got three bags. I definitely need to get some more. That was some Spry gum. Um, so, you know, I get, get our gum, and I get... Um, 
the you know the measuring cups and the um, pastry cutter things like that I like to get from them so here I am mixing up my little thank you gifts I had some neighbors take care of us while we weren't feeling well and help us out a lot and so I did want to give them a little thank you and so this is using one pound of pecans you can use almonds but I actually use a little more than a pound on with this and then I did um, half a cup of brown sugar and half a cup of sucanate. You can do all brown sugar or you can even use regular cane sugar if you would like. And then I did one teaspoon of cinnamon, two teaspoons of vanilla extract, one whole egg, half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of water. And so I just mix all of that up. Here I added some more pecans. So I did end up doing more than a pound. I probably... I would feel comfortable saying I did a pound and a half actually um, with this mixture because it, it was just there was still a lot of mixture left everything was nice and it had an, enough wet on it so I went ahead and added some more pecans to it and it helped me get a larger batch um, so I can divide this evenly so I dumped I put parchment paper down on the cookie sheet first and then I dumped it all out spread it out as thin as I can get it while this is baking, you are going to be mixing it every now and then, kind of stirring things around, making sure they're getting nice and toasted and evenly dried out. But um, on the cookie sheet, I try to spread it out as even and as thin as I can. So, I mean, this is a, a large batch, so it is going to be kind of layered in most places, but it's okay. I get it as thin as I possibly can, and then um, I'm going to bake it at 250 degrees Fahrenheit. And then I'm going to bake that for close to an hour. And then every 15 to 20 minutes during that hour, I want to take it out, check it, and mix it around and make sure that everything is getting nice and dried evenly. And then here I am. I'm also, um, what I have on the stove that's rising, I'm going to make a separate video with that. That's some sourdough cinnamon rolls. But those right there are the end result of the um, cinnamon sugar pecan.